subscribe, love and light to you all. I'm here today to send you a special message of gratitude and thanks for all of your love, support and listening to the Divine Feminines podcast. We only started in January 2021 and it's only July and we've reached three whole series. And that wasn't possible without your support and our amazing guests and all of these soulful conversations we've had of insight, wisdom and inspiration. So I hope you can join me in celebrating this very big milestone. Now, with that being said, I really want to drop Series 4. And Series 4 has got some amazing guests coming through. We're going to do more video content. You're going to see a lot more things. However, before we get there, I really want you to catch up. So, before we drop Series 4, I really want you guys to catch up. Series 4 is going to have a wealth of insight, some amazing guests, and in-person conversations. Yes, that's right. In-person conversations, video content, and a lot more. So, today's special message is going to give you some special highlights of Series 3 because I really want you guys to catch up and I don't want you to miss out on all of the great gems that have been dropped by our guests and the fun conversations and the inspiration that came from them. Here goes. So here are some of the best bits from Series 3. Episode 1, Emotional Health and Healing with Jack, the Epiphany Coach, all the way from my favourite town of Liverpool. We spoke about not embodying your emotions, but understanding them and acknowledging your feelings and letting them pass through. This is crucial if you really want to live an emotionally fulfilling life. As long as you're aware of what the emotion is trying to tell you. And emotions are a physical manifestation. Then we got really soulful with my soul sister, Carla Divine, the soul coach, all the way from Derry, Northern Ireland. I love this episode. You will feel the emotion when you listen. We got deep. We talked about soul goals. I mean, in life, we all have goals and we all want to do really well. And it's usually about, you know, getting that new job or going somewhere in your career and buying that big house and getting that nice expensive car. But what about the goals for your soul? And we go deep into that and we explore what it is to live a soulfully fulfilling life. And it's, it's those things inside you that really will connect with your journey and why you're here on earth. So don't miss out on that one. You know, so if, if any of you guys don't feel afraid, you know, that we, we all need, I think on our journey, someone that can help us along the way. They're not going to do the work for us. However, they will help us maybe gain the perspective or help us to see a clearer picture. And they will leave us to go and do the work ourselves, but we are all here to sort of help each other. And so you're not alone in that sense, is what I mm. want to say to the listeners. Absolutely. And it's like, you know, as a soul coach, um, I help to guide people to find what they're looking for. You know, it's not like that you're handing over somebody like a sheet, do this, 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 and this, and that's you, that, that, that you sort of, because I truly believe that um, you have to find your own uh, source of your own pain, and you also have to find the, the, your own solution. And then when you can own the solution, then you stand, Kenny, you take your power back, and they, you know, who you are. And then episode three, we get super magical with the moon. Bex from Cosmic Cures. She's an astrologer and crystal healer, working with Glamour, Bumble and the Metro, giving her wisdom on astrology and the moon's cycles. We talk lunar phases and how to set those intentions and really, truly make those manifestations happen. Bex is your girl and she gives us all of this magical insight. Thank you, Bex, and thank you for sharing that wisdom with us. Uh, think about it as the beginning of a lunar cycle and that's when the sun and the moon are conjunct and they're in the same zodiac sign and with their combined power of that zodiac sign we can set intentions uh, it's about it's about new beginnings uh, about a new phase um, it's also about really connecting with our intuition because there's this so the whole point is because the sun and the moon are in the same zodiac sign they're close to each other none of the sun's light is shining onto the moon so it does appear like she's retreated from the sky and and we're kind of flooded with darkness and so during this darkness we have this real option to retreat within ourselves 
And because we haven't got that sensory uh, stimulation of the light in the sky, then our other senses prick up. So our intuition becomes easier to connect with. So we can listen to those soul's whispers. We can ask ourselves, what is it we need? What do I want to work with? How do I want to work with these zodiac energies or where the sun and the moon both are in order to set my intentions, in order to manifest magic? So that's how we use the new moon. Um, and then we have the full moon two weeks later. And by that time, the moon has traveled halfway around the earth and is in the opposite zodiac sign to the wow. And then in episode four, we took it way out to the west coast of the US to talk about letting your fears make you fierce with the amazing celebrity coach, Koya Webb, who's trained the likes of Stevie Wonder and P Diddy and much more. Her new book, is like a workbook so whether you've only done yoga once or never before or you're trying to get clean on your diet or you want to become vegan this workbook is free and you can download it at koyaweb.com you can take it step by step you can pick it up when you're really being challenged and you really need some guidance or just when you feel like you need to enhance even more and you feel like you're doing a good job already so with that said everything in life always changes and that's the one constant that we talk about with Koya Web and this workbook supports you through that change. I mean that's a big example but change is always happening I mean if there's ever one constant in life it's change so I, I just wanted to like talk a bit more about that section of the book and what you know the listeners could gain from from you know facing their fears of change. Absolutely. I mean, I feel the only thing constant in life is change. I mean, if you look at nature, everything is always changing. Everything is always changing and growing and, and then dying and then going through this cycle. Um, everything is resting and recovering and then being. And so we are the same way. We're just like nature. We're meant to thrive over time. We're meant to just start out with knowing who we are and knowing that we're here for a purpose, like every single person is here for a purpose. And in that purpose, you're going to change as you grow, as you grow, as you learn, as you overcome challenges, and that's a beautiful thing. And honestly, I feel like if we embrace change, which is what, of course, I teach in the book, it's just the more that you embrace that change and start to understand why these changes are happening, you can really appreciate the change, you can appreciate the challenges because you realize like, oh, this challenge was not meant to crush me. It was meant to make me stronger. And I think that's where sometimes we get stuck. We think, oh, why me? Why me? And then episode five, Power of the Breath with the lovely Leslie Medley, a free spirit, breathwork expert and yoga teacher. She's traveled the world. She's been to India, the Far East and much more and shares her wisdom. But you guys know how much I love to talk. Well, guess what? In this episode, I hardly spoke because she gave us this meditative, amazing moment where she took us into a trance. It was transcendent. I was literally almost in a zone and I had to wake myself up to finish off the episode and ask a few more questions. So, if you're up for getting in tune with your breath and feeling that life force prana through your body because that's what keeps us alive, have respect for your breath. It'll be a lovely way to unwind before you go to bed at night. I recommend you listening to episode five and there'll be much more of Leslie to come. Hand over your heart and your right hand on top and just feel you. Be here now. And I like to initiate the breath right into the heart by deepening my breath. Feeling the chest slightly lift with the breath and then I exhale feeling the chest depress slightly with my hands pressing against my skin I inhale breathing into the heart and I exhale release and whether it's a few moments or many, many moments, the breath is always available to you right now. And right now, and also right now. 
by closing down the eyes, you close out over 70% of external stimulus. This is noises, colors, distractions. Closing down the eyes one more time, even with the eyes closed, close them once more as you feel your... Then we had the amazing Earth Angel, Dr. Amelia Caddy. For those of you that remember her, she was in Series 2 talking about Twin Flames. And in Series 3, we spoke about the Akashic Records. I was so honored to have Amelia do my Akashic Records reading in 2020. And so I thought, what better way to share the insight and to allow you guys to learn more about this in an actual episode. So I share my actual reading. And for me, it was revelationary because last year when i received it there was lots of things that resonated for me but as we had the discussion in the moment it was just dropping things were just happening in that conversation you'll feel my emotion you'll feel the connection with amelia we really make sense of some of those insights that come through now the akashic records what is it you might ask well it tells you a lot about your past lifetime and your soul's training so it can really give you insight to maybe some of the things you've already experienced or what you're experiencing now and how you can better get the most out of your life and where to focus and develop on. So I truly, highly recommend listening. Um, you know, multiple universes that anything you can imagine is existing elsewhere. You can see all those possibilities in the records. We can also find things about our, our soul, our soul's um, origin. Maybe if we're a star seed or star traveler, where we where we came from, you know, we can find all of that in the Akashic records as well. So basically, it's a huge database of everything that's happened and everything that's yet to happen as well. Wow, that just sounds like it's bigger than the world in its sense. I know, yeah, it's kind of (laughs) mind-blowing. Yeah, and I guess, okay, so that makes sense. But how do you, like, where does the information come from? How do you, because I'm trying to visualize it, and I've got this big visualization of this expansive sort of library, like, all-encompassing library, but where, where does this information exist? How do you tap into those records? Yeah, that's a really good question because it's something I asked myself when I started finding out about this. Like, I, I wouldn't say I was skeptical, but I was grasping to understand, well, who decided this? How do we know this? You know. And then we end the series with a special topic, Yoni first. What's your Yoni? Well, you need to tune in to learn more. But Yoni Divinity, the founders, Siobhan and Samantha, do a great job of explaining the Yoni and feminine health And actually, it's such an important topic for both men and women. And it's really underrated. The ancient traditional holistic therapies and methods are the ways forward for us today. It's not about prescription drugs and antibiotics and the NHS. And that we get into the truth of it all. And I think a lot of people are scared to really look outside of what is told to us by the media and by all kind of medical um, experts. Actually, the ancient traditions can serve us much better than taking some tablets or antibiotics. We can actually harness our health from within and internally. And for feminine health, whether you're trying to have a baby or you've got you know, problems with infections or you're just insecure about how to nurture your womb and your yoni, this is the episode for you. They have great products and I've also reviewed some of those products and I've been using them myself and I'm really, really happy with them. It's been a long time coming that I could find a vegan friendly, holistic yoni health brand to use. And I'm, I'm so glad that I found one and I managed to have an episode with the founders. It's a um, Indian Hindu language origin, a Sanskrit word. And it's not just about kind of the vagina or the vulva, it's the whole entire womb itself, everything that incorporates the female part. I think for us, especially Yoni itself, like Sam said, it's not just about where life starts, but it's actually where us, our, us as women, where our spiritual intuition starts, because there are some women out there that can't unfortunately produce life. But for them, the womb itself still carries a very, very big sacred vessel in itself. It's where if we allow people to enter, we share energies. It's where we, for us as women, it's about engulfing 
So in summary, Series 3 was fantastic and I am super thankful to all of the guests and all of our listeners. And if you haven't tuned in yet, I really encourage you to. And once you tune in, I want your feedback, I want to know what you think and what was your favourite episode. And then, as I promised, I will drop Series 4. With that being said, I want to send you lots of love and light. And remember, you come first, you come first, and you come first.